In this video, I'm going to be taking you through my top five core exercise that's going to help improve your core, your stability, and your balance. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephen Kay and I am the Sports Performance Director at Boxing Bay in Los Angeles. Within my channel, I'm going to be giving you everything fitness and strength and condition related. So, if you're a personal trainer looking to better your business, better your income, this channel is definitely for you. If you're a gym goer looking to get some new ideas on workouts and exercises, you're at the right place as well. Now let's get to work. Okay. All right, in this workout, I'm going to be taking you through my top five core exercises that's going to help improve your athletic performance and give you a nice, strong core as well. All right, so when it comes to ab workouts, a lot of people get confused about just doing, you know, 100 crunches or sit-ups. Very old school mentality. Uh, having a strong core, it needs to also be hitting your, your pelvic area, your diaphragm uh, and your back. OK, so I'm going to be taking you through a variety of exercises that's going to help improve that as well. All right, so the stronger your core, the better your athletic performance is going to be on the court, in the ring, whatever it is, and it's going to help improve your performance, okay? So the five movements I'm going to be taking you through uh, is going to be sprinter sit-ups, we're going to be going for 20 reps of them. Then we're going to be going into uh, lateral V-ups, 15 per side. Then we're going to go into a uh, more core, more plank variation, up-downs, 10 per side. And then we're going to go into a Superman hold for 30 seconds. And then the last one is going to be a bicycle crunch for 20 reps. OK, so if you're uh, more advanced, you want to be going for like three sets of this. We're going to be resting for about 30 seconds at the end of each set. If you're more of a beginner, try one or, you know, if you're feeling a little bit, uh, feeling a little bit brave, go up to, up to two sets. But make sure you're getting that rest in between sets as well. Really important you get that rest and you're hitting the next set with quality. All right. So first exercise, guys. Sprinter sit-ups. So not only is this a great core exercise, but it's good for mechanics. You know, if you're doing any running, any, any sprinting work, this is a good way to help improve your, you know, your technique a little bit and get in good habits. All right, so knees going to be slightly bent. What we're going to do then, we're going to drive all the way up. We're going to drive that right arm up to the left knee and drive that left arm back and then vice versa on the other side. <laughs> I'm being nice and aggressive on the way up. I'm really engaging my abs at the top of the movement. I'm being explosive with that arm drive as well. So it's not. We want to be really forceful with the movement to get the best out of the exercise. Chest is uh, maintaining, looking straight ahead, keeping a nice, uh, nice tight core all the way through. All right. Then we're going to go into lateral V-ups, all right? So what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be hitting our obliques. <clears throat> we're going to go arm back, get a nice stretch, rest this opposite arm on the floor. We're going to drive up and get them legs up as high as we can. As you can see, I'm aiming my hands towards the heel, all right? The top or the, top, the side of the foot there. You want to be trying to aim the foot above the knee. We're going to get a nice engagement to the obliques there, just on the side. Try not to just be, you know, it's really important that we move with force, okay? Be nice and aggressive with the movement, but keep control of each exercise. So a few more reps. We're going to go for 15 per side there. You're going to get a nice, nice pull on the obliques. And then we're going to go into up down. So. You guys have probably seen this before, uh, low plank position. And what we're going to do, we're going to go for 10 pair sides, okay? So just like this. So low plank position, we're going to engage our core. So I want you to tighten up the abs, tighten up the glutes, hamstrings, back, everything nice and tight. And we're going to go for 10 reps per side. So up on the left, down on the left. Up on the left, down on the left. So slow and controlled. You want to keep a nice straight line for your neck down to the tailbone. So back nice and straight, keeping the hips as square as we can. Turn on that left arm, flip it over, turn on the right arm. Okay, we're keeping a nice strong base. Like I said before, abs should be, uh, abs should be tight, glutes should be tight, lower back should be locked in as well. A few more reps of there on the other side. What I see a lot of people do with this one, basically cheating is, I want you to come all the way up, be nice and tall at the top of the movement, pick your hands up off the floor, drive. 
So not only are we hitting our core now, shoulders, triceps are getting worked as well, 10 per side, all right? Then we're gonna go into uh, a Superman hold for 30 seconds. Now, if you, anyone out there is having any lower back pain, this is gonna be uh, really beneficial to help with that. It's gonna strengthen up your posterior chain, which is your glutes, your hamstrings, and your back, all right? So we're gonna lay flat, We're gonna drive the arms in front. We're gonna, at the same time, our arms and legs come up. Keep that chin tucked in. We're gonna squeeze as tight as we can. Hamstrings, glutes, back. Drive the, the thumbs up towards the sky. Hold it. And that's all you gotta do. You gotta hold it as tight as you can. You're going to really get a nice engagement in the glutes, the hamstrings and that back. A little bit of a posterior, the rear delts as well. 30 seconds hold, okay? Now the last one, we've all done bicycles, right? We've all done these before, these ones. Okay, now we're going to be a bicycle crunch. So we're going to come up a little bit further and the movement's going to be a little bit slower. So we're here. So I'm not just using momentum, I'm just bouncing up and down. I'm controlling myself on the way up. I'm controlling myself on the way down. I'm gonna go for 20 reps on this one. Squeeze the top, slowly lower. Make sure the toes are facing up. Elbows are nice and wide. Keep them hands tucked on the temple or your shoulders. Try not to use any momentum, okay? Now, there are your five movements that you can literally do anywhere, okay? Uh, go for about two to three sets if you're more advanced. If you're a beginner, one or maybe two sets. Make sure you get enough uh, 30 to 60 second rest at the end of each set. All right, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.